You're watching Old Mates Backyard Tech. For technology to move forward, old technology needs to be removed. And in the case of Australia's 3G network, well, that is exactly what's about to happen. It's news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, Telstra announces 3G mobile network will be switched off in 2024 to free up Spectrum. From the Backyard Tech Channel, this is BYT News. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is BYT News time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Thursday morning and uh, look to be honest, I'm surprised it's going to be this. I'll shut up. This came out yesterday as well again from news.com.au. Telstra announces 3G mobile network will be switched off in 2024 to free up Spectrum. The network that put the internet on our phones will be switched off, but Telstra has a mammoth task ahead. Telstra has announced the 3G network introduced in 2006 will be switched off in the next five years to free up Spectrum for the rollout of the 5G network. The network will be switched off in June 2024, but between now and then, Telstra will have to upgrade its 4G coverage to ensure regional customers in an area totaling 70, 770,000 square kilometres across Australia don't lose network access. While this area is almost a third of the total area Telstra covers, the telco said only a very small percentage of customers would be affected. Quote, the Telstra mobile network covers about 2.5 million square kilometres and reaches 99.5% of the Australian population. 0.3% of the population has 3G service only. Close quote, a Telstra spokesperson said. Before we switch off 3G, our intention is to... Oh, sorry, quote. Before we switch off 3G... Our intention is to upgrade areas where we currently have 3G only coverage to provide materially the same coverage with 4G, close quote, the spokesperson said. But it's, but it's not just Telstra that might have to upgrade. Customers in regional areas who haven't bought a new, a new phone in a while may have to start saving up for a new one. Any Apple devices older than iPhone 5 will need will need upgrading to access 4G. But given they'll be more than 12 years old by the time the 3G network is switched off, all but the most conservative customers will likely have done so by then anyway. Many Android phones began including 4G capabilities earlier than iPhone, but connectivity varies between devices. Those who make do with their old Nokia will have to upgrade, but this doesn't mean they'll have they'll be forced onto smartphones, as several quote unquote dumb phones on the market still support 4G connectivity. On the plus side, regional customers experiencing 4G for the first time will notice a significant increase in download speed and data transfer rates. It's it's not just Telstra customers who will be impacted either. Several mobile virtual network operators, or MVNOs, purchase wholesale access to the Telstra network they, that they then sell on to their customers. While many MVNOs generally provide better value, some of them don't get access to the full network or cut corners in areas such as customer service. Some of the MVNOs on Telstra's network include Boost Mobile, Belong, Aldi Mobile, Penitel and Leica Mobile. The move to switch off networks is not without precedent. At the end of 2016, Telstra switched off the 2G network to provide more spectrum for the modern 4G network. With the rollout of 5G technology, which appears significantly faster data rates than 4G, Telstra now needs more spectrum. The 850 megahertz spectrum carrying 3G will be relocate, reallocated to 5G. Telstra Group Executive 
Telstra Group Executive Networks and IT, Nikos Katanakis, said in a blog post that Spectrum would help meet Australia's data requirements in the future. Quote, the era of 5G will bring even greater advancements in the areas like mobile gaming, virtual reality experience, HD video conferencing, driverless cars and other applications that haven't been dreamed up yet, Mr. Kat Anakis said. Close quote. I'd love to be able to say some things, but we know I'm banned. The 2024 end date has been announced well ahead of time to give customers forewarning and allow them to upgrade to compatible 4G devices if they need to. A Vodafone spokesperson said the company currently had no plans to turn off its 3G coverage. Quote, <coughs> Quote, A large number of customers continue to rely on 3G services, particularly voice calls, especially in regional areas. We want to ensure that any potential disruption to our customers are thoroughly addressed before 3G network closure plans are considered, close quote, they said. An Optus sp spokesperson said the company had not decided on the timing of its 3G shutdown, but will notify its customers once plans are confirmed. 